again a naturalist at Grass River and today because it's such a beautiful day outside I thought it would be a great day to do a tour of a northern Michigan River for our second micro class. So here we are and we are not actually at Grass River itself full disclosure it's quite it's a little far away from my house to carry the kayaks on top of the car in a jerry-rigged situation um, but we are at the Cedar River Preserve, which is a Leelanau Conservancy property, and it's quite similar um, plant-wise and habitat-wise to the Grass River. You can see that it's a super slow-moving river, um, so yeah, a lot of the things we see today we'll see at Grass River too, so let's get started. All right, so here we have what looks like a beaver lodge, and we actually just saw brown creatures about the size of beavers scurry through the grass um, out of the lodge. Couldn't quite tell what they were because they were pretty hidden by the tall sedges and grasses, but pretty sure they were beavers. So like I said, the Cedar River is a relatively slow moving river, relatively warm watered, which is the perfect growing environment for water lilies. And I think that's what we're seeing right there. And right there, oh, it's getting covered by the silt, um, just sprouting up for the season. And we have two kinds of water lilies here in northern Michigan. We have white flowered ones called fragrant water lilies, and then yellow ones called yellow pond lilies. How's it going over there? Oh, pretty good. Pretty darn good, huh? That large tree right there that doesn't have any leaves on it is a tamarack tree, also called a larch. Um, and they're really common in sedge meadows and wetland areas in northern Michigan. And they're interesting because they're the only tree in the northern hemisphere that actually loses its needles every year. So its needles lose all of their chlorophyll and fall off just like deciduous trees. Um, every year in about November, and they're gorgeous right before the needles fall off. And so it's really easy to identify them in November, but you can identify them the rest of the year by their really bumpy twigs, um, where the needles kind of spray out of like in a star shape. There's a muskrat, just having some lunch. Muskrats swim by using their very powerful rope-like tail. And there he goes, or she. So this little strip right near the river's edge, that type of habitat is called emergent marsh. Emergent meaning that the plants emerge or are present above water, not just underwater. Um, yeah, and it's pretty much defined or dominated by um, the presence of cattails, as you can see. And here we have some new green cattail growth right there. Barefoot kind of day. Cool little whirly gig beetle. That's it. Thanks for joining me on this edition of Grass River Micro Classes, tour of a northern Michigan river. And I'll see you next week. Stay safe and take care of yourselves.